Yo, 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 what it do? What it be, y'all? It's your boy, Agent A-N-T, repping the Spell Block Agency, and today I'm going to be talking about COVID-19. <laughs> and some of this shit don't sit right with me. Let me just tell y'all that. So, everybody got theories and their own ideas on how this virus started or how it first spread but i'm gonna be one of the first to say i don't know i haven't done enough research to really have a theory on how i think it started and i've heard it was from someone eating bats in a black market for delicacies or they called it a wet market which is a live market for fresh food and they're actually really popular in china and there is the uh, the information that a Wuhan lab located about 100 miles from the wet market where the COVID-19 started has been at the center for conspiracy theories and theorists considering the lab is it's really used to mainly study diseases. And it's literally called the Wuhan Institute of Virology and either ironically or coincidentally, they were studying coronavirus originating from bats. Now, there's reason to be skeptical based on those facts alone. Then you have Trump pretty much accusing China of knowing more and possibly covering up some facts, which the Chinese government is actually known for exactly that. And here's where you have to look at the research and form your own opinions But from what I've read, the wet market that COVID-19 started from didn't even sell bats at all. And more than a third of the first patients in China had no connections to the wet market at all. No relations to it. You know, wasn't even around. So it's just is not popping right now. But on the other side of the spectrum, the Wuhan lab is regarded internationally for its research in pathogens and even worked on researching Ebola and coming up with a cure or vaccine for Ebola and along with that there's literally zero evidence no evidence tying the strains that are infecting millions and killing millions as well to the Wuhan lab and I don't think it's because any cover-up of the Chinese government there would be something there would be a shred of evidence connecting them back you know somebody someone a doctor something you know and either they covered it up really really well to where there's no information out there like that or it simply doesn't exist you know there's there can be no you know there's there's no third but the science community has a reputation to uphold you know information and it uphold the truth and the science community is pretty much saying the Wuhan lab is one of the best facilities in the world and it's China's first lab to be designated BSL-4 which is the highest international designation for biosafety in the world that's what international means in the world so it was the first one China had where they were actually you know they got certified for doing you know everything right and despite pandemics and outbreaks happening in the past that originated from labs like h1n1 and uh sars we don't have the patient zero from covid19 that's what everybody doesn't understand so in like we don't have any idea of where in china it originated from and it could take months maybe even years to find patient zero if we even find it at all and that's not a lot of guarantee but again like you're dealing with a virus that spreads um the the first patient the patient zero or whatever the first person to contract the disease they could be dead they could be a carrier having no symptoms like it's really we don't know for sure so until we actually have the patient zero we have no idea even where the virus 
really started from if it was the wet market if at all and like y'all know there's still people out there dying from bird flu and the swine flu and even mal mad cow disease right like even diarrhea is out there killing people still and whenever someone says you know shit like oh that people die every day or you know there's still other diseases out there killing people pretty much like that it, it it's almost discounting those lives that are going to be lost due to just negligence i mean if if nothing else it was pure negligence on the part of almost most of the world in how they handled this pandemic or outbreak I mean, I mean, just look at it. it. Look how slow the U.S. was to react. And I mean, they first heard of the pandemic, I want to say, at the end of last year. That's when I first heard that, you know, there was a little, little cough going around in China. And it was just, you know, a little internet, you know, seen a couple things about it, a couple headlines. But with a million billion dollar defense agency and intelligence network y'all couldn't figure out that this was some serious shit like yo china was shutting sh literally shutting itself down at the beginning of this year and in February, you know, we didn't have... Airports were still open. <laughs> like... It, it, trying to discount millions of people dying because your government doesn't care, meaning you shouldn't... It, it, it says a lot about you as a person. Just saying. Like, yeah, I do realize people still are dying in foreign countries from diarrhea. People are still dying from hunger. <laughs> and people still don't want to help them. I mean, you see these billion-dollar companies asking for money in times like this. Where, where, where are these savings that every American should have, you know, that they always talk about? But, anyways, before I get too off, off subject, the real kicker in all of this is China's government. The government that Trump is trying to blame for spreading the virus has actually done more to stop the spread of it than ours has. And I'm not just talking about Trump, who has shown his leadership or lack thereof time and time again. I'm talking about Congress and most governors, senators and major business owners who are as I was trying to allude to they are completely to blame for literally ignoring not only millions of Americans lives but people from literally all over the world Italy France all that dying from a disease and they don't care cuz they're just trying to make and save a few bucks and in a time where we need a leader, just one, just one governor in one state to say, no, fuck that. I'm closing down everything for two weeks. Everybody stay at home. We'll pay your rent. You know, we'll, we'll get some kind of, you know, surplus fund going from the state or something for your from your taxes that you pay to the state or some, you know, something. And they needed to lock everything down for maybe two weeks to a month, figure out a definitive plan. And I'm not just talking about the, like, I'm not even saying the whole country. I don't expect that from 50 states with 50 different leaders and 50 different, you know, ideals. But we didn't have not one state or one governor or leader that said, hey, um, this is wrong. We're closing everything down. We're going to save some lives, no matter the cost. 
and we're going to try and stop the spread of this pandemic. We don't know how serious it is, but we can't take risks. I I haven't heard one headline, not not one interview, not one presidential candidate say anything like that that we should close down and actually figure out a definitive. We still don't have a definitive plan and we don't have one in sight for the whole country. <laughs> and we're one country filled with 50 states, so it's pretty much 50 small countries under one umbrella corporation. And we I mean, I'm sure the the the, the rich people have plans. They figured some shit out. But <laughs> as far as uh like the general population and trying to save as many lives for the working class as possible, we we it's been shown we're expendable. And no one seems to really give a... I mean, they're so busy concerned about trying to keep their favorite companies afloat. They don't even care that, you know, the government pretty much just confirmed UFOs are real. Confirmed it. Came out and said, hey, we found some shit in the sky. Have footage of it. We don't know what the fuck it is. <laughs> and people just brush it off. But... I. You would think it would have opened people's eyes more than ever that this whole system we got going on, it ain't working. Having 60 year old billionaires in control of everything isn't working and it never has really. Y'all think America was founded by 60 year old men who owned oil companies? No. That's who created this corporate oligarchy that they've got disguised as a democracy. The men who laid the foundations for America saw this land as an escape from British tyranny and had a belief that all men, all men except blacks, of course, were created equal. And somewhere along the way, America became the land of the entitled and... Home of ignorance. And that's not saying that there are Americans that are fighting the good fight and trying to fight the system from within and outside of it. Or fix the flawed system. But at this point, it, America is too big to fail. If there's anything I learned from this pandemic, it's that America is so divided that its, it's leaders aren't, aren't even leaders anymore. Leaders are supposed to unite the people and give them direction and, for the most part, do what's best for the group. Before news of COVID-19 really started picking up steam and it really became like a pandemic in America, several U.S. senators and leaders were briefed and some committed insider trading, selling millions in stocks before the markets fell and profiting hundreds of millions if not billions of dollars yet only some are even being investigated and under this current regime none will probably do time so some of our leaders cashed out in the stock market <laughs> create create pretty much profited off of a off of a global pandemic Created trillions of dollars to give bailouts to big companies and the stock market. And then given 1200 to every tax-paying American was just doing too much. Alright, now, now I'm lucky to be... <laughs> I'm lucky enough to be in the marijuana industry. And after being a class one narcotic for decades... Now it's essential. Weed is essential now. Fast food, that's essential. Walmart is essential. Walmart, I kind of understand for groceries, but every department is open. <laughs> Electronics, clothing, whole nine. Toys. How? <laughs> Why? There was less traffic for maybe a week, and now it's back to normal. At least where I live. 
everything is still closed where I live for now. And n people are still out driving. I don't know where they're going. I know they're not going to work. I know they're not going out to do to run errands. There is nothing open. <laughs> like, <laughs> it, it, in closing, really, this pandemic taught me people who swear they don't trust the government are really dependent on it the most. And if people couldn't stay quarantined with TV and internet for, you know, however long, two months, let's say. Let's just say two months max and two weeks minimum. They couldn't stay in the house for that amount of time with TV and internet. Yo, if, I'm going to say this. If America ever got hit with an EMP, knocked out electricity or something, or we had the whole nation didn't have electricity maybe even in certain parts there would be chaos absolute madness <laughs> but that's just that's just my theory but from what i've seen with man we're fucked <laughs> but w w one last thing anybody still believing or pushing the 5G theory that, you know, 5G is the cause of all this or it's at the root. You know, they're, they're using 5G to spread it. Look, listen. Look here, look, listen. I, I haven't seen nothing. Literally zero evidence to support that. I've seen some maps, you know, to have a little where 5G went and, you know, how Corona... Bro. I just... I don't even know how you spread a virus through waves bro like that is some next level shit like are they using it as like you know they spread in the virus at 5g towers just releasing it into the air or i'm uh i, I just don't know how you would use a a cell phone tower or a tower with uh i don't know that just gives out waves and that's spreading the I, I don't know if someone can give me a link or something to some viable shit that that get that substantiates that vicious rumor about 5g and, and someone please link me but i have not seen not one convincing piece of evidence that that 5g towers are behind the covid 19 that's just that's just what i've seen but and now it's what is it it's may just the start of may if you're thinking it'll all over be it'll be all over by the end of this month or next month you're probably wrong things won't start getting back to normal till probably june or even as far back as october earliest if it even happens this year they're talking about 2022 being when shit finally gets like back to to normal so I, they can't just keep opening and, and, and closing businesses down they can't they can't be like oh it's safe oh no it's not there's no way they could do that can they i mean i'm sure i'm man if it, if it happens it wouldn't surprise me i'll tell you that but i mean it's just it, it's real crazy it's crazy times we living in really and uh yeah th no one knows where it started from there's no you could be asymptomatic you could have symptoms you could have had it already like i'm a, i'm gonna keep it 100 i'm not gonna cap with y'all i'm almost positive me and my household got corona in january like, I could be wrong. I could be completely... I never got tested. Still won't get tested because it's fucking bullshit that you have to pay for testing. Our government literally dropped the fucking ball and we have to pay for it? You gotta be fucking kidding me. <laughs> it's almost like... It's almost like why take precaution when you guys aren't? Or, or you guys are recommending precautions. It's nothing. It's not even set in stone. Y'all seen the fucking social distancing squares? Those aren't six feet. 
You know how tall six feet is? You know how tall a six foot person is? And you see those little squares, they're like a couple inches from each other. The fuck? So they're basically giving guidelines that don't even need to really be followed. No one's checking on this shit. No one is coming in and saying, hey, this is how you handle this in this situation. A, because we've never seen anything like this, and B, because it's poor leadership. Like, like, how are you not, like, how are you going to tell Americans or your people to be prepared at all times, have this amount, X amount of savings in the bank just in case for emergencies, and then um, an emergency happens, and... The government who's been sitting there telling people to be ready and to always be prepared and have savings, they don't they are not prepared. They have no savings. You see you see WWE not able to sustain the 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 horde of talent that they have after they hoarded talent. You see the XFL fold. How do you start an upstart business that can't financially last a whole year like and then they they, they want us to to donate that's what I that's what I'm tripping on they want us to donate for relief where are all the where is Target where is Walmart where are all these multi-billion dollar where is Jeff Bezos where is Amazon where are they to to try and and I understand you know this is the big thing with Bill Gates they wanted him to pay more taxes you know because he makes that much and you know it probably could be used for shit like this but why why should why should uh the rich have to care about the poor <laughs> or why should they have to pay for the poor's mistakes I'm not saying that at all cuz Look, I know I've met bums that literally, like, some aren't homeless by choice, but some are. Some people don't give a fuck about themselves, about what's going on in the world, their life, nothing. They don't give a fuck. So, I, I don't know where I was going with this, but. Like, this shit is just crazy to me, man. <laughs> like, I, I'm I'm thankful. I have, I live in a household where everybody is still working. My sister lost her job before the year started and found a new, even better paying job than she did before. I left five guys. Uh, I, I started my new job the Monday, that Monday was the weekend after Kobe, the Kobe tragedy, so I've been there since maybe the beginning of February, so I was just getting over kind of being sick before I started this weed job or whatever, but I don't know, because I, they, if you go to the doctor right now and tell him you got sick in January, They'll look at you like, okay, and you had the cold and you had the, you had the flu during flu season. It's crazy. It's just, it doesn't compute with them that it was going around in November, December in China. People were still actively traveling in and out of the United States and China going everywhere. And... You don't think germs spread that fast? <laughs> no, these are these are professionals. Like these are doctors. These are this is the medical health field that we have. And they won't even test you. Well, I haven't I haven't been sick. And as far as I know, I'm not contagious. I've been around other people and nobody else has gotten it as far as I know. Well, we, again, People are asymptomatic. Unless you get tested, you really don't know. It's just... 
and they didn't even really start closing anything down until it started getting reports that like the prime minister of china got it or some shit like that some of the one of the high-ranking members of china got it and then rudy gobert got it they were like oh we don't know who can get it we don't have it quarantined we were supposed to be quarantining oh fuck ridiculous absolutely ridiculous but uh all i can do is hope everybody stay safe during this little quarantine that we got going on or something don't get smoked <laughs> don't get smoked in a quarantine if y'all enjoyed this video though i know it was kind of long i told y'all i was going to be having long videos kind of kind of rambled in this one but hope y'all got my point we don't know all the facts we can't jump to conclusions because we don't have all the facts and for people to sit there and say this this china knows more than we than we would or you know we just thought kim jong-un was dead and bro literally <laughs> is alive so what the fuck do we know? It was a big, you know, like, oh, the U.S. intelligence is, uh, no, what, it, it's, it's an internet rumor, <laughs> you know? You gotta do research and come up, f form your own opinion based on the facts that are present. And I'm not talking about just, you know, some within on, like, do actual research get viable sources now some people don't believe in the mainstream media right now what's my parts of my family think the washington post and the new york times is conspiring against trump i mean how 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 would it make sense that the media doesn't like a millionaire or a billionaire think about that <laughs> media loves rich people but Trump don't like them whenever they start telling the truth about anything. <laughs> but I don't know. I'm obviously not the biggest Trump fan. He's the president, though. I'll admit that. Not not much of one. I'll <laughs> say that. But I guess I'll get out of here. I'm uh, getting too political. And really, I just want everybody to be safe during the quarantine and do more to save yourself cuz uh it's really all you got out here get out you get, this is the time where you need to any apocalypse crew that you got going on keep them tight cuz uh i'm not saying this is the apocalypse or anything like that it's, i don't think it's really like that so like i said shit'll probably be back to normal in a year or two but for situations like this you know, uh, you gotta be prepared, if nothing else. Like the goat in, uh, what is it? Not Red Riding Hood. Hoodwinked. Yeah. Be prepared. But, <laughs> yeah, sorry, I was hella rambling, but sorry, it's a hella long video, but leave a comment on your thoughts on the coronavirus, the corona, the rona, the ro ro, the vid. COVID-19, whatever you want to call it, I'm genuinely interested in others' opinions on everything that's going on, and, you know, I'm interested in even more info that's out there if anybody has it, but follow me on Twitter, at A-N-T underscore 303, so y'all will see every video and stream I got coming up, because I'm going to be dropping new videos, or at least streaming every day, till further notice, so stay tuned, I'm out.